It's the first time in more than a decade that more than one local member is from the governing party. In politics, Monday morning is no time to rest. Hello, Peter Wellington speaking. Can I help you? Especially if you just survived the biggest fight of your career. The Independent is now one of only a handful of the state's sitting members to survive the LNP whitewash. I don't think anyone expected such a massive landslide. We all knew they were going to win. For the Sunshine Coast's seven other electorates and seven other LNP local members, it's the perfect scenario. And the fact is a lot of people are hurting from the local economy, cost of living issues, and these are the biggest things that have been raised with me. But political analysts believe handing one party so much power will be dangerous. It is important that you have an opposition. The problem with the, what they've got at the moment is Labor will barely be able to cover the shadow portfolios. Voters traditionally give new governments an 18-month honeymoon, but there'll be the weight of expectation for the LNP to deliver to constituents across 78 seats. It could mean funding is stretched thin some electorates will miss out. I think there were hopes that there would be um, some improvement. Whether that's going to happen with such a huge uh, number of members, as you mentioned, all saying, hey, you know, we want, so we want something, our area's been neglected. The next step for the Premier will be announcing his front bench. The coast has four shadow ministers, but it's unlikely all of them will be rewarded with a portfolio. That doesn't mean they don't all have high hopes. Look, it's up to the leader and uh, I'm not going to speculate, but certainly I'm keen to serve uh, in the team. Laura Dimmick, 7 News.